All right, guys, welcome back to the garage here. As you can see, I got a new purchase sitting here. Um, I picked this up from a local collector um, that needed to get rid of this game. Um, I actually had bought this game at auction about a year and a half ago and shopped it all out, changed it out with LEDs, and added a couple of mods to it. Nothing, nothing real crazy, but um, just kind of cleaned it up and made it look good. And then traded this for the Theater Magic I had for a while back, which in turn I traded or sold uh, Theater Magic to get the ACDC Premium. Um, so I got this back, and um, I've played it a little bit, and I actually, I, I didn't really care for the game when I first played it, and I updated the software, and I do like the game a lot now. It's um, it's kind of grown on me. Um, I just got the Grand Champion score from the guy that just had it for uh, a year and a half, so uh, I think I did pretty good on it. But um, it's the cabinet, this, this game was on route, meaning it was in an, an arcade, or a bar, or whatever it may be, not in somebody's home, an HUO home use only. Um, so there's a little bit of wear on the game um, in some key spots where people look for, most notably in the shooter lane. Let me see if I can get a light in there. Let's see if I can turn on my... i pick this little attachment up here from my uh, drill, and I'll show you the wear. So, if you look in here... You can see where the ball comes out right there, and then where the ball hits the wood over there, um, there's some wear. Uh, there's also a little wear on the dock ock. See a piece of wood kind of chipped off there. Other than that, the game's really clean. The front of this panel here has, has some wear around the start button right there. Um, and then there's a little piece of wear kind of underneath the E of the Spider-Man. Um, he added this little Spider-Man shooter head here. But other than that, very clean. Um, here's the side. Kind of really can't get an idea in here. There's no friggin' light in this garage, but you can kind of see now what it looks like. Yeah, it's got the big Spider-Man on the side there, and uh, the side's got Sandman up here and Venom on the other side. So I'll turn the game on. Um, I changed out a couple of LEDs and put a couple of little things like these little webbies over here, and I'll show you what the game looks like. <clears throat> turn off the lights in the garage here so you can get the full effect. There's my grand champion. Oh, best. I'm sorry. Where's my grand champion? Right there. Oh, nope. Where the hell did it go? There it is. 160,323,000. Whatever the hell it was. So anyways, um, all LED'd out. I opted to go with some blues down here. I kind of like the way that looks. Um, you know, kind of changed out the... the uh, uh, the play field bulbs as well as some of the uh, general illumination bulbs. Uh, put some LEDs up top there. You can kind of see them poking underneath there, that whole row right there. Kind of lights the whole game up. It looks good. It's a good game. Um, I, I Like I said, when I first got this game, I wasn't too impressed with it. But they changed the software about, I think about a year and a half ago, right when I had sold it. Uh, and uh, it really changes the game. It's really a lot of fun. The multi bell is really good. And uh, the call-outs are good. The the music and the you know the sound effects are very good. So um, I had just picked up a scared stiff that's uh, coming next week. Um, of course, when I'm going to be out of town on a business trip, but um, I had bought that to kind of put that in the game room, and I bought this one to flip and make a little money on. But now that I have this, I might keep it because it's in such. I don't know, it's just kind of grown on me. The condition, like I said, is not a, a 9 out of 10. I'd say it's about, you know, an 8 out of 10 because of the play field wear, which I guess I could kind of cover up. They sell these little things that cover up the little the little uh, ball eject. It's called a cliffy. And then there's a piece of metal that you can screw on here to uh, prevent the ball from slapping this piece of wood. Um, not really much I can do about this. They sell a cliffy for the dock ock right there to protect that little magnet, but... Um, you know, it's a fun game. I'll press start. I, I can't play with one hand, so, you know, bear with me if I can, if the ball drains. Spider-Man! Where's your yeah, Right by. Here's your ball, man. Now get going.
Well, anyways, you can get the feel of the game. Um, there's a lot going on in the game. You know, pretty active play field. You know, metal ramps, which is nice. Um, it, there's a combination of some plastic ramps in the back by Venom, um, as well as up here by the Sandman. But the metal ramps are, uh, nobody's really making these anymore, which is kind of nice. It kind of adds to the, the last ability of the game. You know, typical three bank target, like Attack from Mars, and the um, almost like the little trough by Sandman. And then um, the Doc Ock figure here, where you kind of go in there, and there's another, like a little popper in there. And then Venom's up top here. So it's a cool game, um, Green Goblin over here, but uh, I just don't have any room for the game, that's the problem. I can't have any more games in my living room, my wife will kill me. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. If I keep it, it's going to have to stay out here in the garage. You know, and you can see i got my hands full here, there's that MK2 that's on eBay, and then my NBA Jam that I'm working on right here. So I don't have any other room, i got my work table that I work on right here, and then cabinets. And on this side, I got my workbench, all the stuff that I test, and then next to it, all the stuff that keeps on my work supply. So I don't really have a lot of room. You can see, I can barely walk through here just to get out of the garage. So, unfortunately, I'm, I'm probably going to have to let this one go and uh, pick one up later on down the road when I have more room. But I thought I'd show it off to you guys. Uh, Stern Spider-Man Pinball from 2007. And um, pretty impressed. It's a good game. Hopefully one of you guys that see this will pick one up and enjoy it.